Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your insider for SportsTalkFlorida.com. Today is opening day for baseball, and that pretty much means it's a national holiday for fans all across the country, including Rays fans. In fact, hundreds have gathered here at Ferg's across the street from the Trop in anticipation for today's game. And I caught up with a lot of them to find out what their expectations are for the upcoming season. Steve, how many opening days have you been to? It's the first. First time. What are your expectations for this season? I mean, there's been so much change this offseason. All I can say is I hope they do well. It's hard, it's hard to know, but I hope they do well. No matter what, I'll support them. I think we got a great new manager. There's a lot of confidence in Kevin Cash. I think all the moves we made in the offseason made sense for one reason or another. Today is the proving ground. Today is the day we see where you know the rubber hits the road. So I'm all about it. I mean, the Rays got lean and mean this year. Yeah, I mean, what about his inexperience, though, as a manager? Does that scare you at all? No, not at all. I mean, Kevin Cash was chosen by the Rays to run this team, and, and uh, I'll back that decision. They saw something in him that, that said a lot about his leadership, and I'm all about it. A lot of new faces. I'm I'm optimistic. With new things come new challenges, but it also comes new opportunities, and I think it's going to be uh, a pretty awesome season. I'm always optimistic. you got to be in Tampa, right? <laughs> Is it a bad omen that Alex Cobb's starting the season injured? I don't, I don't look at omens. I'm just optimistic. I'm going to keep optimistic and keep going forward, yeah. What's your prediction, Konica? She's always for the Rays. Always for the Rays. So what do you do with the dog during the game? Um, well, when they let us take her in, we actually take her in with us to the dog days. But otherwise, we hang out here in front of Ferg's and uh, drink our beers and uh, have a good time. <laughs> what was the loss that hurt the most? I think the pitching staff is going is taking the biggest hit. With injuries that's going on, the ace is gone, relying on younger players to step up. It's going to be tough. I think it's going to be the biggest biggest challenge for them. It's definitely going to be uh, the pitching. Price made me sad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Price definitely made me a little a little tear happen. But um, still keep my fingers crossed. Good season, and you know he's going to definitely be missed though. He was one of my favorites. So you're probably the only Rays fan, since you're a Tigers fan too. You're probably the only Rays fan that was okay with that David Price deal last year, huh? Absolutely. David Price is a great uh, ass. He's, he's a great quality to the Tigers, and uh, he's starting today. I haven't looked at my phone yet. I don't know how he's doing, but he's uh, definitely a great ace to have in the ball club. In a one-game playoff, would you have him or Verlander starting? I'd probably have David Price starting. Absolutely. You look like you just came from work. How did you get out of it? I lied. <laughs> he definitely lied. <laughs> I told him that uh, I wasn't feeling well and I needed to go home. Feeling much better now with a Long yeah. Island in his hand. Yeah, absolutely. Feel a lot better now. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely, the cure for everything, right? Yeah. So what's your name? Well, my name's Jenna, but this isn't about me. There's so many people that are out here today. What do they do? Do they get PTO for this? Do they take a vacation day, a sick day? How does how does this work for people that couldn't get out here today? How do they get out of work for opening day next year? You gotta get your real estate license. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be your get own real boss. Estate license. Your own boss. Or leverage your PTO. You leverage gotta your leverage PTO. your PTO. Or lie. You know, lying always. I mean, really, it is the best policy if you think about it. The truth, it's for the birds. You know, it's old school. You gotta lie. Lie, cheat, and steal. Yeah. So I gotta ask Michael. It's a Rays and an Orioles game. What are you doing out here in Reds gear? I live down here. I've, I've lived here for four years. I do. I do support the Rays, but I like the Reds too. I just. This is what happened to th throw on today, but. 99% of the time they're not playing each other. I like the Rays too. Does it scare you at all the fact that Alex Cobb is hurt yet again to start the season? A little bit, of course. I mean, Alex Cobb's our man. If he's not leading us off today, um, you know what? I'll take Archer as a second, a second man in charge. So give me the truth here about this baseball team. I mean, there's been so many changes. I can't remember an offseason where there's been so many. What are your expectations for the team this year? Truthfully, being honest now, in Madden we trust. So, you know, the guy's gone. I don't know. I don't know anything about this new sub guy. I mean, I, uh, sub 500 Sub 500. Team. I think we're 75, maybe 80 wins max. I mean, our division's always tough. I don't know. You, you know, you lose some of your core guys and, you know, what, what do you think's going to happen? It's, it's any sport. It's any team. It could be baseball. It could be football. It doesn't matter what it is. How does that work exactly? Because we have so many transplants that live out here. What are the rules to bandwagoning? They, well, they both play in different leagues. They, they only play each other every 
you know, two, three years. I go to maybe like 10, 12 race games a year. You know, it's one of those things where like, I live here, so I do adopt the hometown team. But, you know, I keep my hometown roots, so that's kind of how I look at it. Is it a bad sign, the fact that Alex Cobb starts the season being injured? Absolutely. I mean, that's the biggest thing. we got to rely on Archer now. You know, it's like leverage him, and hopefully he's ready for, for the big time. You know? I mean, you always had James Shields. You always had David Price. You always had that leadership there. Is he ready to be able to take that, especially now that Alex Cobb is injured? Is he ready to, to be that leading guy? Well, Alex Cobb is definitely calm and cool. We're about to find out how calm and cool he can be because it's his time now. It's him time to show up and step up. I think Archer has one of the best attitudes in Major League Baseball. I think he's a can-do guy. I think he's a winner, and I can't wait to see what he does today. What are your expectations this year? Do you even have any because of all the new faces? It's tough to say. I know they have a lot of guys out right now, but if they can kind of hang in the race for a while, I know they'll get some pitchers back, and I think they have a chance of uh, – if they can hang around 500 and they get some pitchers back, I think they have a good chance. I mean, the American League East isn't very good this year, so I think they can do well. One more question. Should Pete Rose be in the Hall of Fame? I, I think he should. Um, I don't know if it will happen or not, but I think he should. Yeah, absolutely. Don Zimmer, they're going to be retiring his jersey today. It's hard to believe that he's gone because he was a fixture with this team for so long. Are you going to shed a tear? I, I'm not, actually. What I really wish would happen is that him and Pedro Martinez would have an old-fashioned duke it out, old-style 20s boxing uh, on the mound, and my man Zimmer would throw the right hook that, uh, that ends the fight Tyson style. I'd love to see that. Vince Namoli throwing out the first pitch today. How do you think that fans should receive him? I think they should receive him like the guy who got baseball started in St. Pete. Um, thumbs up for Vince Namoli. It's sold out. It's sold out. And are you hopeful, too, that Kevin Cash will implement some of the same types of motivational tactics as Joe and maybe bring in some more zoo animals? I would love to see more animals. More animals, the better. You know, that's how it's got to be. That's, uh, more animal days, too, definitely. <laughs> Hooray! So you, you do a moonwalk, is that right? I've been known to do that. With a little prompt. At weddings or? Well, I'm just uh, on anything. Doesn't really matter. Because you know they have the little center field shuffle that they have after some games. Uh -huh. I guess I'm up for that. I don't know. All right. Let's see this moonwalk. <laughs> that was spectacular. Look at them. Everybody, I, I feel a raise win to today, an opening day win. I feel it. The Yankees are losing. That's all that matters. <laughs> Go Rays! Yeah. Woo! Go Rays! Number one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.